the Thursday. The good news for Buccaneers fans is that Brady is 7-1 in his career following a loss of 20 points or more. So, Shannon, will Brady bounce back from what might have been the worst game of his career? Well, Skip, I believe he'll be better um, because this team is really set up. I mean, sometimes you have you struggle and then you catch the, uh, the, wrong, the right team at the right time. And I believe the Carolina Panthers is the right team at the right time because what Brady struggles with, Skip, is pressure. And what the Carolina Panthers defense don't do very well is pressure the quarterback. They have 10 total sacks. Four by one guy, Burns, who was the first-round pick, if I'm not mistaken, out of Florida State. They only have 23 quarterback hits. So Brady should be able to stay upright, be able to survey the field without somebody sticking a, a helmet up under his chin. That's where he struggled. That's where he got into the problems last week, Skip. You look at the games in which he's lost. He's only lost three, six, and three, which is a very good record at the uh, half, a little over the halfway point. New Orleans, first game, pressure. Chicago and Soldier Field, pressure. Last uh, last Sunday night in his home, pressure. And that's not what the uh, Carolina Panthers do very well, Skip. I got some stats for you. You love stats. This is what Brady is against the pressure. His completion percentage is 33% against pressure. Mm -hmm. That's 32nd in the NFL. Now, oh, there's only 32 quarterbacks. But that's Yards for attempt versus pressure, 3.1, 30th in the NFL. His QBR versus pressure is five. Mm -hmm. It's Joe Flacco. Mm-hmm. I think somebody else, who? Joe DiMaggio was number five. Oh, was that uh, Gary? One of them guys was uh, maybe Mantle. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Skip, that's not very good. And considering Carolina don't pressure very well, he should be able, like I said, survey A.B. You want it? Oh, Mike Evans, you need it. Chris Godwin, you need it. Hey, Gronk, I'm going to get you involved. Struggled a little bit last week. So, Skip, I don't see the Carolina. And plus, McCaffrey just came back, played balled out against uh, uh, Kansas City. And he hurt his shoulder. Now, they said he might, but he's looking doubtful, looking like he's not going to play. They're a different offense when he's on the field because he can run it, he can mm -hmm. catch it. So they find a myriad of ways to get him the football. And with them being shorthanded like that without McCaffrey, I believe Tom Brady, even though Mac does not play defense, I believe this defense is set up for Tom Brady to have a big day. So I don't see him struggling mm. like he did last week. Mm. So, you are picking the visiting team. Yes, I the am. The Buccaneers. Yes, Do you yes. have a score? Uh, I'm going to say 27-17. 17? Oh, so you have a cover. Yeah. Because it's a six-point game. I'm going to say 27 Bucks by six. six. Yeah, yeah. Really? And I, they won't make the mistake they made last week and just run the ball five times. So, I have several issues with everything you just said. Uh, point number one, you, as usual, neglected the most important stat that that just it overcomes all the stats you just spat out on the table. What? Who was going into Sunday night the most or best protected quarterback in all the NFL? Who had had the least pressure on him of any quarterback in the whole league yeah. coming into Sunday night? Guess who? Brady. Tom Brady. Yeah. So just junk all those stats because no, they don't matter. Because against pressure, well, it, he had had so little pressure on him. Yeah, you're right. He's the same at 43 that he was at 33 that he was at 23. Same in every way. His arm is just the same, and his one weakness is just the same. He is not mobile. So if at age 23 you got heat on him with four men, especially with four, right. as the Saints did twice now, right. opener in that Sunday night game, 38-3, right. to three, you're going to be able to beat him. He's going to be incredibly vulnerable because he's going to spit out all those stats back at you. He's not going to be very good. But it's hard if if, if you protect him even semi-well, it's hard to get that kind of heat on him because the Saints on Sunday night pressured him 56% of the snaps. Right. Well, guess what, ladies and gentlemen? You got a chance to win. But not only did they win, they just demolished. Yes, yeah, but Skip, my point is a lot of quarterbacks struggle with with pressure, mm -hmm. but not to this degree, not with this severity. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the three games they've lost, all have been because of pressure. Mm -hmm. New Orleans, Chicago, New Orleans again. You're absolutely right. If they leave him upright, well, you're going to have a problem on your hands. And because Carolina don't pressure, okay. they got 10 sacks. Okay, and what have I also told you? Not, not only has he been the best protected quarterback, but they have been throwing the longest passes of any team in the league. It's no risk it, no biscuit offense. Tom Brady is running Bruce Arians' offense to a T, just like Jameis did a year ago when he led the whole league by far in turnovers. 
as I told you yesterday, in pure air distance, how far does the ball travel from your hand to the, the receiver, whether he catches it or not? Right. Tom Brady leads the league by far in air distance. So if you put those two together, he's been protected. But but again, he's not dinking and dunking like he did at, at New England, right? Yeah. Where, where he led the league in in yards passing to the running backs, right? right? Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. Well, now he's second to last in, in passes to running back right. yards. Well, they're okay? going to have, but Skip, if you look, if you remember now, Skip, the way they drafted running backs is that they drafted running mm -hmm. backs that were receivers. He went to a team that's, that's not how they drafted running backs. So it's going to probably take him another year mm -hmm. to get running backs that used to catching the ball out of the backfield. And the problem that they have Sunday, Skip, if you don't run the football, where's your play action? So now all of a sudden that intermediate stuff, the overrides that Scotty Miller and that and Gronk used to catch is not there. Okay. So what amuses me about you is you you just absolutely annihilate Tom Brady when he loses. And on Monday, I have never seen you gloat any harder than you gloating. gloat. Yes, you were. You were just rubbing it in all day long. That's fine because he was horrible, arguably the worst game of his career. But how can he bounce back with a new team and a new system and a coach who publicly ridicules him after he losses? Ridicule him. He ridiculed him. He just him. said, we need to play better. It was sarcastic. <laughs> it, it was pointed. It's like, don't look at me. What happened to the goat? You know? well, well, you, hold on. But that's the same argument you use. You tell him that he's going along for a great ride. He should be, but okay. he's not. When they win, you say, oh, Tom, oh, this is all Tom. When they lose, it's the defense. It's Bruce Arian. It's Byron Leftwich. Okay. Hold on. Yeah, you question whether Brady's even the GOAT. You have said for four straight Jesus. years on this show that he should just call it a day and go home. Yeah. And, and yet, you've got them bouncing back and winning by Double digits yes. at Carolina against a team that I have far more respect for than you happen to. Skip, if they could rush the passer, you'd have me. But, Skip, they don't. Mm. Well, I'm not going to bet against my man, but but I am tempted to. But you, hold on. I'm you, tempted to take Carolina in 10. You just told me that your guy, uh, 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 Brady, is better than my homeboy. Mm. Now, we just saw what my homeboy. He's having a better year, says Pro Football Focus. I'm, I'm just going on what they say. Skip. They rate him higher for his whole body of work for the year than Patrick Mahomes. And yeah. by the way, speaking of Teddy Bridgewater, who's going to face Tom Brady yeah. yet again this Sunday at Carolina. Yeah. Played well. Uh, has he played well? Play well? He outplayed Patrick Mahomes oh. at Mahomes. Boy, he did. Well, time out. Time out. He had a QBR. You love QBR. You've been throwing it at me all week. He had a QBR. Did Teddy Bridgewater of 89 to Patrick Mahomes 83 at Kansas City. And Kansas City was in trouble in that game late in the, the third quarter no into the fourth. In trouble. And they pulled it out 33 to 31 because Teddy Bridgewater was dealing. Yep. You don't think he's capable? Yes, absolutely he's capable. Okay. Let me ask you something, Skip. Throw stats aside, what did your eyes tell you? Through the first nine games of the season, who's played better? Forget stats. Forget the nine Super Bowl appearances. Forget the three Super Bowl, uh, uh, the four uh, uh, MVPs. It's Tom Brady. I watch every snap of every Tom, game. Hold on, hold on. You're saying Tom Brady has played he's better. He's had a better year. year than Patrick Mahomes, who's been, as Pro Football Focus points out, wildly inconsistent up and then way down like shockingly down he's had four bad games by his standards you're pushing him for mvp and i'm saying well time out what about that game and that game and that game he lost to, game? he lost to Derek carr at home skip he scored 32 oh. and two for 340 okay but he lost okay your guy lost your guy scored three points Against New Orleans. Okay. Your I, guy I, lost to Chicago. Okay. Chicago, Chicago has lost a uh, like My guy the last destroyed five games. Aaron Rodgers. My guy just completely outplayed Derek Carr at Las Vegas okay. with a masterpiece of a game. So you look at the games in which he's played extremely well. I'm looking at the complete body of work. His okay. complete body of work. All right. Now back to objectivity here. <laughs> I am ride or die with Brady, so I'm going to stick with him to just survive barely at Carolina. I'm going to call it 27 to 24, Brady in the Bucks. Okay. But I am here to say with open heart, I'm just going to bear my soul. I will not at all be shocked if they lose this game. I think they are up against it, against a division rival, and I am not sure that they can climb out of the deep, dark hole that they just dug for themselves against the it's Saints. Only one game. It was, 
It was the game. It was as stunning a loss. <laughs> no, okay, well, I told you. What did I tell you Monday? It was as shocking and stunning a loss as any I've seen since Peyton and company ran into the Legion of Boom in the Super Bowl. What was the score? 43 to 8? Yeah. Skip, so you're not saying that they lost. It's the fashion in which they lost. It was appalling. It, it was season-threatening. It was deeply troubling. It was as bad a sign as you can get this late in the year. We're about the midway point Skip, in the season. Skip, it was one okay, game. Okay, but it was a complete and utter wipeout. And what troubled...